The Misk Freelancer, a nostalgic nod to Star Citizen's predecessor and one of the first ships to make it into the game. This ship is possibly the most underrated and straight up disrespected ship. However, this is one of the very first ships that I personally pledged for back in 2014 and therefore holds a special place in my heart. I think it's time to put some respect on its name, as it is a fantastic ship. In fact, when it was released, it was the cool kid on the block. Granted, that's because there was only a handful of kids on the block at the time and this one had an Xbox 360 and his parents let us get takeaway pizzas. But for me, it was because it reminded me of Serenity from Firefly, so I just had to have it. Since then though, much to my sadness, this ship has become the laughing stock of the Star Citizen community. Whether it's for the trademark phallic shape of Miss Ships, because let's be honest, they all look like one big dick. Yeah. Take a look out of starboard. Oh my god, it looks like a huge... Pecker! Oh wow. Or maybe it's the lack of a gold pass after such a long time. Whatever the reason is, this ship is rarely shown any love. Well today, to quote Jane Cobb, I'm gonna change that Goramit. I don't know if he actually said, he just said Goramit loads, didn't he? Anyway, today I am also giving away a Freelancer Miss game package along with the all new Mirai Pulse, both of which have LTI, so stick around until later to find out how you can enter. Now, there are four different variants of the Freelancer ranging from cargo hauling, to long range exploration, all the way to the one we're focusing on today, which is the gunship missile boat. All variants come equipped with an impressive amount of SCU space, a turret, four size three pilot controlled cannons, and two medium sized shields. However, the Freelancer Miss is the standout when it comes to combat. This unique beast sports 28 size three missiles that can rinse through your enemies from afar. But if you do have to get close, you can go guns, guns, guns with the cannons. It packs a wallop. So, why do I think this ship is so underappreciated? Well, other than the obvious resemblance of a huge... Willie! Yeah. What's that? Well, it looks like a giant... Johnson! I think it all comes down to the fact that it hasn't changed in many, many years, and it is in desperate need of an update. If I'm recalling correctly, the engines were meant to be VTOL when it was first designed, but they never quite got there. The pilot guns could do with a size buff, in my opinion, from size 3 to size 4, and the missile rack could have a slight increased rate of fire, especially now that we've seen the all-new Firebirds rate of fire with multiple missiles. That thing's dropping more explosive payloads than me after a spicy meal. So needless to say, the Freelancer Miss could do with some rebalancing. Oh, and it also turns like a little bit of a pig in Atmo. Do pigs turn? Anyways, with all that being said, I still have to say that the miss is a lot of fun and can be very dangerous in PvE situations. It never fails to bring a smile to my face when this animation plays and then seeing missile after missile fly off the rack. What's really great too is that it can still hold its own in the close-up fights and once you've decimated your enemies, there's plenty of cargo space to loot your rewards, fill up your cargo grid and then go and sell whatever you find to make even more profit. It's not perfect just yet, but I truly believe with a little bit of TLC, the freelancer could be revived and respected once more. Which brings me on to this. As I mentioned earlier, I am giving away a freelancer miss in today's video, but that's not all. With this giveaway, you will also win a wonderful Mirai Pulse, both of which have LTI. And here is how you can enter. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below what ship you would like to test the missile barrage of the miss against. This will get you one entry. However, don't stop there. I've also released another video today all about the best solo PvE ship in 3.23 where this giveaway is also running. So make sure to watch that video too and follow the instructions over there as this will give you another entry. And on top of that, channel members get another entry by default and are automatically entered again. So please consider becoming a channel member to support me but also to give yourself an additional chance at winning this giveaway. So there we go, a total of three entries up for grabs in today's videos, and that brings us to the end. Thank you ever so much for watching. You have been absolutely incredible. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the halls of Invictus, which is happening right now, the 17th of May up until the 29th of May. Go and rent some ships for free and have fun. It's, it's free, free play. Get your friends on. Go, and get, go, go, get, go get your friends on. Don't play this game. It's all free. Go, 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 go. I'll see you out there, in the verse. Goodbye.